This month's giveaway is a copy of Mighty Number no. 9, cross by for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the Vita whenever they decide to release that version. How do you enter to win? It's simple. All you have to do is be a subscriber. And as always, if you want additional entries, go ahead and leave a comment on each of our podcast videos for the month. The winner will be chosen at random at the end of the month. Good luck, and thank you so much for watching. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Press X Podcast, episode 23. Part two. I said twenty four last time. Screwed nice. that now one up. Now we're going backwards. Yeah. So now we're doing Sony. We ju- we just got back from the Sony conference. Yeah. Uh, we saw it for disclosure because Holy it makes everything better. Holy we saw shit. it in a movie theater. Yeah. Watching it with everybody. Mm-hmm. That's uh, cool. Sony also has the luxury of going last for the day, so I feel like it's almost impossible for them to not look yeah. good because def- they get the final punch no oh, matter what. It definitely feels like uh, they spend the most money on their conference. <laughs> Yeah, though we found out today, I guess, that uh, Microsoft hires the Oscars team to Mm -hmm. do theirs. That's probably expensive. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so we're going to be talking about Sony, what we thought of the announcements. We're going to go through them and Mm -hmm. then kind of an overall 1 through 10 scaling of the conference, what we liked, what we didn't like, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, They started out the show playing music. Yeah, this Lean, is really cool. They had a live over. symphony. We should yes. tell that. For the, whole show. for the whole show playing. Which is impressive. Yeah, it was crazy. I leaned over. I went, this sounds like God of War. Yeah. And then I leaned back and we listened. They were just kept playing. And then I leaned in and I went, nope, it sounds like Vikings. Yeah. And then I leaned back and then the trailer started. And I was like, oh, Horizon. Yeah. And then they walk up and out of the shadows comes Kratos. Yeah. And I was like. Arm just retarded. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, we got new God of War PS4. This might be one of the prettiest games I've seen on a console. It's, I mean, like, it's pretty. It looked really pretty. It like had this dark, like fantasy, realistic, like just beautiful. That's look what's to, weird about it. It's it, crazy. It's looking. very fantasy. Yeah. I mean, it's a fantasy but it game, looks, but it looks so yeah, realistic. It's crazy. This this game is going to be incredible. Um, it might be like. Just looking at it, I want this game so bad. I haven't been I like to. this like fanboy, like heart struck about a game in a while. Um, and it looks incredible. I'm really uh, excited about it. Kratos got a kid yep. in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, seems like we don't know how much of this game. Like this seemed like the very beginning of the game. We don't yeah. know if you actually play as the kid later on. Yeah. Like he takes the mantle. We don't know if this might just be like an E three thing. We don't. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know if game. the whole game is them together. I actually yeah. kind of would like that. Almost That'd like cool. the Last of Us. Mm-hmm. It felt very the Last of Us. It the did. camera angle is completely different. It doesn't feel like an action game anymore. It feels like an RPG. Yeah, it very much feels um, like an RPG. And I feel like that fits God of War better that to me it, it yeah. feels more like a dark souls style mm-hmm. game than the yep. uh, action rpgs which are not action it's not even really an action just the action games which are kind of on their way out i feel yeah. like there's just not many of them and the ones that come out don't get reviewed yeah got a well. got a war before <laughs> this was just like this very like beat em up dungeon crawling yes. hack and slash game um and that was cool um but people hack love these like, people love these like storylines um mm-hmm. for god of war um and i think they're they're keeping they have the dark they're doubling soul doubling down on they have the dark story. soul like rpg aspects and combat and great graphics and they took this insane storyline which lacks in these jrpgs um very heavily i think um especially in dark souls and that's what this game is starting to look like a little bit so yeah just imagine dark souls with the best storyline ever so we might just have a, the masterpiece of this Man, intro you, right lo- here. you love your god of war oh, um god. yeah i thought this was awesome i don't know if i would have opened the show with it personally yeah i feel like but ending the show with it they had a very strong um schedule to their show they yeah. did exclusives i think they had five Mm -hmm. exclusives then they were like here's vr yeah here's third parties and then we're ending the show yeah and i liked that they did that there was definitely things missing that i would have liked etc etc right but what they showed and how they showed it uh just it felt like uh just throwing punches oh they had no breaks at all so one thing that was crazy about this was we just saw gameplay footage there was a not a lot of talking going on yeah they, um, they always have developers come out and mm-hmm. say, in our game, we did this. In this game, we did that. And they yeah. literally just, they didn't do any of that. It you was just they, trailer, well, they had, trailer, they had, trailer. They one developer, um, he didn't really talk about his game. He just showed us the trailer. Um, of Kojima? Yeah. Yeah. We and you got to have out. Kojima. Yeah. And he literally said five words. Yeah. <laughs> and think. then showed us He's some like, some cr- I'm back. Yeah. I've been working on this. Or yeah. like, just and showed us some words. crazy trailer um, with yeah. Norman Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. So next... We're we're a little uh, divided on this one, but Days Gone. 
which Dead Don't Ride yeah. it clearly has been rebranded as Days, Days Gone. Gone which I, I like. as soon as I it started as soon as it started I was like this is Dead Don't Ride yeah. um and then it said Days Gone I was like oh they renamed it yeah <laughs> which is kind of weird whatever not what I was picturing yeah I was picturing a cartoony like over the top zombie thing yeah this is way more they're very all very Last, last of, of Us, us. I'm going to keep comparing it yeah. but I mean that was their huge hit um way more Last of Us yes. than I would have liked and then I would have expected. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just talking about the announced thing, I was not impressed. It looked like Last of Us. It looks like it's going to be emotional and everything. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I am said this when we were watching the third party things. I'm yeah. so done with zombies. Yeah. I don't want zombies. I'm so sick of zombies. And this is traditional zombie. Traditional zombies, for and sure. I'm like, um, so I things don't care. like the game visually looks good. Yeah. Um, story-wise, I think the game's going to be fine. They have great mm-hmm. voice acting. Um, you know, like it, the game has things going for it. Things I don't like about this game, zombies. I'm kind of over the zombies. Yeah, um, so I don't of. really care for this main character. He's like this bike rider. It yeah, showed a little bit it, of a story, and I was like, man, this, I think the story is going to be a little weak sauce, which sucks. <laughs> um, they tried showing off a lot of the mechanics in the game um, later on sort in the of. show. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just yeah, not right. excited this about this one, game at all. A lot of people excited for it. This is definitely the one that yeah. I was like, meh. Yep, I agree. I, I think I think meh. this was one of the worst parts of the conference. Like, I don't think it was bad. Like, it didn't hurt me in anything, but it's very much like when people talk about Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm like, yep, cool. I yeah. don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't care. I'm sure you you enjoy it, but I just yeah. don't care. I, I don't know. I just didn't care for this game. There, there was just so many more fantastic things going on in this that I didn't really care about this game. Uh, next, they showed off The Last Guardian, which I thought was a little weird, but th- then it became the standard for how they were doing it because yeah. i expected somebody to come out and talk and mm-hmm. then there was just another trailer yeah and i was like what are they oh there's another trailer for oh yeah. it's the last guardian like yeah. i was like a little shocked but then i realized that's what they were doing yeah uh we have a release date october 25th yep. 2016 it's real it's coming this year i was wrong i thought it would come in august i think this is a really bad release date uh gears comes out that then uh the vr vr playstation um, vr so it's going to be competing with itself yeah. i would have liked an august release date i um, think august would have been good i think september at worst i think you may want to put it in december by itself which is yeah. a terrible time to release I, games but i really hope this game does well i think it looks beautiful i think it'll do well but um, I, it won't make its money back it's been in production way too long yeah it sucks um, um they, there's new things they showed they showed a that there's two there's like an evil cat. Fox yeah, it seems like they're thing. they're just the creatures of that mm-hmm. area. They're probably guardians. Yeah, <laughs> they're probably guardians of yeah, that they land. Did, like they definitely showed off the and the little gameplay we saw mm-hmm. a little bit. We saw this tower. Mm-hmm. Um, they made the tower like a big focus in this. So yeah, there's something going. You can on probably that. climb it. That's mm-hmm. probably the objective because he can't fly right. that was the whole right. they, they said in the trailer his wings are broken or right. whatever and he can't fly so i'm try, i'm sure you're trying to get him up to the tower yep. or whatever um game looks great it's exactly what i wanted yep. sizzle little stuff date don't talk about it yeah like, they didn't talk about it at all uh, no story I room loved. the yeah I, I guess a couple people were mad about the new cat fox dog thing no oh, showing it off yeah yeah, yeah like um, that but it doesn't that matter because you don't know what the fuck's going on in this game so. yeah i think that they did it perfectly i think yeah, that's exactly I what i wanted i 100 percent ended this with game. the date and it was sweet yeah good M- moving on horizon we're torn on this one too yeah um i think this game looks very pretty yeah love the idea of the game i loved the trailer that i actually was surprised this was there they yeah. put out a trailer uh three days ago or something yeah. that ha- was a story trailer mm-hmm. it was like five minutes long yeah it gave the release date so like i was like oh that's it and then yeah. it also had this cool mystery thing where he was like hey um you might not want to go searching for answers because yeah. you you may not like what they are or something like that. And she walks up to this clearly uh, futuristic. It's kind of this weird blend of future and past, mm-hmm. but the futuristic like alien looking spaceship. Yeah. And it says uh, identity recognized or something. And then the trailer ends and I'm like, oh, shit, there's like a mystery yeah. in this world. Like she is something special. Mm-hmm. Um I love that they're they do basically the reverse of the Indians like the Indians were one with nature yeah and they're one with the technology like yeah. they use what little technology they have to 
uh, influence the technology that's taken over, which mm-hmm. is these robot dinosaur things. Yeah, uh, loved every bit of the gameplay. I'm was I'm very in the middle with this game. I don't like open world games. I don't like that that RPG style. Yeah. I don't like stories done that way. Yeah, and like every gameplay and menu thing they showed me, I was like, yes, this game looks sweet. And then they started talking. And they did like the dialogue things, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh no, this looks like a Mass Effect. That's a, I was about to say it's the same problem you had in Mass Effect. We enjoyed the games. Uh, I mean, I, in, I wouldn't say they're great. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd be like, they're good. Mm-hmm. Like if I never, if you wipe Mass Effect from my mind, I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> they didn't change anything for me. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so that scared me a little bit because yeah. it does seem like Sony's attempt, first attempt that I can think of to make like a. Bioware game. Yeah, a very that's, that's Americanized what it like. RPG. Yes, um, that's, that's very much what it looks like. For like. sure. Um, so, this game to me, when I heard about it at first, it sounded a lot like Destiny-ish storyline to me. Um, this, like, where we have these, like... Game had a storyline. <laughs> we have this, like... Well, I did at first. That was, like, the huge thing for it, and then they just came out with this shitty RPG thing. Um, but... Oh, yeah. Um, so, like... Obviously, the humans aren't in control here. There's, like, these weird alien yes. robots, um, and the humans kind of got pushed back into living in these tribes and things, similar to, like, the original Destiny mm-hmm. storyline we saw, um, which I'm, I'm fine with. Uh, it's it's just, like, whatever to me. The storyline looks fine. Um, the gameplay looks pretty cool. I like the way you get to interact with the different... Um, like I like I like what you said. The technology and nature is mm-hmm. like intertwined. Yeah, it's like, like taming them mm-hmm. and stuff. I thought that was yeah, so cool. It's cool. You're like you're like hacking the beast to tame mm-hmm. them to fight for you, which is cool. Yeah, um, everything gameplay I loved except for the conversation thing. I was like, ooh, and like that conversation thing means so much in a game like this because that could be a huge part of it, and I yeah. don't want that. Yeah, at all. I just um, want. So the I think story. the conversation is gonna be good. Um, the voice acting for the main chick kind of threw me off. She says something at the end. Um, when she's talking to this guy, she says something at the very end. She's like, "If there's somebody in need, I'll help them." I don't believe in demons. They they have cavemen. They're very because this is when civilization was kind of wiped out, and they yeah. they definitely have a caveman speak to them. Yeah, but I didn't sure. have a problem up until that line. Um, it's like the first thing she says, and it sounded like shit. Um, so <laughs> I hope maybe you know that's not how it's gonna be. It might be. I don't know. Um, I loved the way the interactions. Um, when they open up the map, I love the way that was. Yeah. All that stuff was great. Um, I yeah, everything like that looks good. I visually, this game looks great. Mm-hmm. The setting is eh, it's fine. I mean, it's just um, a forest. <laughs> yeah, it's a forest with technology. Yeah, I don't yeah, really know much it's, about it. It's yeah. fine. Um, we don't really know what's going on with that, but just visually, it looks fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really like the way the combat worked in this. Um, I like the combat. Yeah, I don't know. You have different arrows. You have binding arrows. You have fire arrows. You have electric arrows. Yeah. And they all do different things. It, it was like that. it was like th- this mix between like fast pace and you had to like switch between your inventory, which I don't like doing in these fast pace games. Uh, I um, I didn't mind that. Yeah, I I don't like like running around really fast and I'm something's about to hit me and I have to switch to this other arrow really fast. I, I didn't mind it because it does do the slow motion thing. And they've shown, like, you can sever off different body parts. Like, depending on how you kill the yeah. thing, you can destroy resources. Right. Or you can do what you did in the beginning, which was be careful and, like, knock the whole container off and take it all. Right. But they definitely showed off uh, trailers where they fight, like, bigger things. And yeah. they just end up destroying the whole robot. Yeah. And she doesn't get much out right. of it, which is kind of cool. Um, so, I, I think that's fine. That's just not what I'm into. Yeah. Um, so, that's what hurt the trailer for me. Um, for sure. Uh, and I, you're playing like one, like it's an RPG, but you're playing this like set character. I would have liked if you just made your character. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's, what, uh, that's something that has me excited. It, that makes me feel like the story is first. Yeah. For oh, this. for sure. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think I think this is going to be a very heavily story driven game. Yeah. Uh, next up was Detroit Become Human. Very interesting. Yeah. This game looks incredible. Uh, Quantic Dream. They did Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls. I like both those games. Yeah. Um, they originally did like the Kara tech demo and then they mm-hmm. announced that that was becoming a game where you play as this girl who's uh, basically an AI who doesn't want to be disassembled yeah. and she wants to know kind of why she's not equal to humans and yeah. all that stuff. Very, you know, whatever. In this one, we found out that it seems like there's multiple characters you're going to play as. And mm-hmm. I almost wish that it was a bunch of mini stories, like just yeah, individual cool. mini stories. Yeah. We don't know. Um, 
basically they showed out they played out a scenario and it was you know whatever and then they were like or we could do this 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 and they show all these options yeah. and then they show a whole bunch of different possible endings um this is a game that i didn't actually think they would show yeah. because they do keep things close to the chest the uh quantic dream right this was one of the better trailers i uh, feel like i think it was a great trailer um, i think this blew everybody away no yeah. one was really expecting this no one was expecting to like this. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. They did such a good job. Like, this trailer was heart wrenching. Um, yeah, it was good. It was, it was one of the better game trailers I've ever seen. It was really cool. It was really good. Um, and like for them to show this and not have to talk about it was fantastic. Yeah, that, um, they, they didn't the talk game. about any of their yeah, games. Yeah, they didn't talk about any of their and games. And I don't think they needed to. The only game I would have liked them to talk about is the Days Gone Dead Don't Ride game because yeah. I was a little confused about what that was. Yeah, that was weird. And it's mostly confusing because I'm like, please don't just be a zombie game. Yeah. Like, have more. And mm-hmm. I would have liked somebody to come out and be like, this is more than just a zombie game because to me, I was like, it looks like every other zombie thing anyway yeah. um yeah detroit i think looks fantastic it's further along than i thought it would be mm-hmm. um they clearly have more to show than i thought and yeah i'm, I'm really excited to play this game uh then they showed off the kitchen which turned out to be a new resident evil i mm-hmm. think it shocked everybody in the theater yeah for everybody sure. kind of freaked out when it did the seven mm-hmm. and it was quiet and then it said resident evil and everybody lost their yeah. fucking mind apparently it's live uh going live probably within and the next hour yeah uh we'll, On, uh, we'll download PSN, it yeah um very very excited we once again were polarized on this one though uh yeah so i you know i grew up loving resident evil um i thought the world was cool i thought the games were awesome um you know like one through four are cool Mm -hmm. one and two especially awesome two is my favorite um and then after that they got really bad with like different spinoffs they got Um, actiony like yeah they got actiony but they got bad like storyline wise as well um they just weren't as solid yeah, I mean, they, the thing was they always were simple stories. And yeah, then, for sure. And then games started getting crazy, and mm-hmm. they kind of went crazy. Yeah. And that's... It know, just didn't work for yeah. Re- the Resident Evil thing. Yeah. Um, so, one thing here, like, they open this up, and, like, you know, it's a, it's a VR game. They were very heavily advertising the whole game. You which can play the whole so game excited. in VR, which is cool. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to hop on the VR thing to start off with. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about the VR. Yeah. You're obviously very excited about it. I'm yeah. not sure how I feel about it yet because I haven't I haven't done anything with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. the The game like visually wasn't pleasing to me, and it just it looked like eh. That's how I felt about it. And then it was Resident Evil Seven, really and I was like eh. So yeah, so I knew about the kitchen demo. Yeah, and I was like, oh, they're releasing the kitchen demo. That's cool. So I was waiting for like everything I've heard about that demo to show up, and I'm yeah. like, I don't know what's going on. This isn't the demo. Everybody in the theater started talking and making jokes because clearly people were uncomfortable yeah, I think with the everyone's horror. Everyone's expecting um, everybody thought like a there jump was going to be a jump scare yeah, and started getting sure. really uncomfortable and making jokes and like laughing it off. And mm-hmm. it was clearly like they were scared, yeah. which I actually enjoyed. Um, I knew they, I, I knew they wouldn't do an actual jump scare because yeah. that would be a real shitty thing to do at a conference. Yeah. Like there was no way they were going to do something like that. Um, didn't expect it to be Resident Evil. Was super excited. And then they came out and said that the game is fully playable all the way through on VR. And I, I'm completely sold. I'm already sold. Mm-hmm. But I was completely sold. Clearly vibes of PT. They mm-hmm. clearly are cashing in on PT oh, yeah. fans. Yeah. And guess what? It's working. You have my money. I That's fine. Um, VR coming out October 13th, they announced. Yep. And this game is coming out in January. So it's coming out and soon. And what was the set price for the VR? They announced that as well, right? Uh, that was already announced, but it's three ninety nine okay. ninety nine for the okay. VR. Um, but yeah, October thirteenth is the official date for that. This is a January game, um, and yeah, we'll check out the demo, and then I'm sure we'll talk about it yeah, more after sure. that. Because I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm hating on this game. I would I would love to have another great Resident Evil game. Yeah, um, and I hope this is you know I hope it is it. I'm excited. I mean, they didn't show any tropey Resident Evil stuff, and right. I actually like that. Yeah, it was that's cool. what PT did. Right, they kept it they let your mind do the scaring yeah like you don't need to put it f- outlast fucking outlast i can't say yeah. you don't need to put a jump scare like ooh, tense music oh you go to grab it something grabs you oh yeah. you turn around tense music there's yeah. something on the wall that says don't turn around like you don't have to do that and then put a jump scare that sucks 
Yeah. That's bad. I don't like that. But like they did exactly what PT they did. It very did. Tastefully. Yeah. They did exactly what PT did, which was you were like, "There's a jump scare here. Oh my god. Oh, it's not there. Now I'm even more scared. It's yeah. gonna be here. It's not there." And you just make the person psych themselves out. Mm-hmm. You don't need to do anything. Yeah. You know. You just make creepy games. They yeah. don't have to be like. You, you, do, you just, just need to get creepy. in their head. That's yeah. all you have to do to make it scary. Um, then they showed off Farpoint. This was all part of their VR segment. Farpoint mm-hmm. was like the Mars exploration giant spider mm-hmm. thing. That looked cool. Uh, it looked cool. Don't know enough about it. It was yeah, a br- brand new storyline. announcement. Yeah. Um, looked like you're just kind of exploring. I'm fine with that. Yeah, it looks like you guys were exploring and something goes horribly wrong right. with your exploration. So, yeah, be cool. uh, I need to see more yeah, on that for one. Sure. Probably one of the lower I'm things though. if I ranked it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront VR was shown, which Just is one mission, mission, which mission. I expected. They they already announced that it was yep. an experience. Um, I think Star Wars fans are going to be really excited for this. Yeah. Anyone, you know, most people playing on vr are gonna want to play this yeah this is it's the probably thing. gonna be like an hour-long mission this is the thing cool. people come over and you go i got a sweet star wars thing to show you yeah. and they they put it on the music's playing you're no, yeah, probably you, shooting you the death fully, star or whatever you're doing if you're a star wars fan you're gonna love this you get fully involved um with the star wars universe doing yeah, classic awesome. star wars things um flying you know an X-Wing. It's going to be sweet. I think it's going to be way better than people will give it credit for. Yeah, I agree. Um, then they did a Batman VR teaser, which I'm excited for. I wish we saw more. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly what it's... It's kind of f- just the Joker speaking. and I The you know, trailer is, yeah. Yeah, kind of just the Joker speaking. Um, and it's. I guess you're going to be you know put inside... And it's Arkham. Um, I don't know if we said that already. Yeah, well, no, but yeah, it's the Arkham uh, world, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, so we don't know what this is going to be. If it's going to be a little demo, if it's going to be this full game, we have no. Clue yeah, I feel like be. it's going to be a detective thing, like mm-hmm. Batman in detective yeah, you, mode. Oh, you're and playing you need, as Batman, and that's you one need thing to you yeah. need to solve something. Mm-hmm. That's what I get out of it. I almost would like it if it was like it's probably not going to be because the Joker was in the trailer. Yeah. But I almost would have liked it if it's like Riddler challenges. That'd be cool. And you're Batman, not yeah. like the shitty ones from the game, but actual like made for VR, almost like a portal. That'd that's be cool. Yeah. Batman and the Riddler. I think mm-hmm. that would have been sweet. Um, but yeah, we don't know enough about this it's probably just an hour-long thing mm-hmm. i imagine but i'm sure they'll have they'll have a million of these things when yes. after the vr comes out and i'm, All these I'm, are gonna make I'm down ones. for a batman one for yeah, sure season. for sure uh then they showed off more final fantasy 15 this might be the first game i don't know but it might be the first game that was on sony's xbox and, and yeah. microsoft stage i um, can't think of a game in recent i can't memory confirm that this that. but i can't deny it either um and it's the first game that I've been disappointed on two consoles on. <laughs> um, this um, game doesn't look bad. Um, yeah, like I keep saying, it does not look fun to yeah. watch. Like watching this oh, game, yeah, it, I don't think fun. is fun. Yeah. I think playing it, great. Uh, it's like the Deuce Guy demo. This is the one demo. VR game that they showed that I was kind of disappointed in the VR. That's fair. Uh, it looks like they didn't put a lot of time into this VR. Yeah, it's like a shooty shooty thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like an on rail shooters, but instead of on rails, you get to do the teleport thing Noctis does in game, yeah. and you have a little pistol, yeah. and you you, pl- you play as Prompto, his mm-hmm. his the worst character in yeah, my opinion in sure. the whole thing. Uh, they had Sid in a car with you. That was a little sexual. Yeah, that was, I, I, yeah. it was a little weird. Um, sure cool whatever i think most games that release in the next year are go on playstation Mm -hmm. are going to have a 15 minute vr thing oh yeah included and i actually think that's huge for playstation on every box to be able to say vr experience included vr experience yeah i think that's vr experience yeah so Um, anyway what are there 50 games on release for the vr 50 games by the end of the year by the end of the year okay and it comes out in october so that's you know not a lot of time to get all those games out. that's cool i wonder Um, how many games are gonna be on release yeah, I don't know. I know Res is a release mm-hmm. uh, game, which is huge. I really wanted that. Yeah, I think that'll be a big selling point for the VR um, for sure. Riggs is, which is Gorilla's yep. sport style game. Like, I honestly think that's enough for me personally. They also have uh, place like five, VR Worlds, which is uh, their five demos that they did yeah. uh, all together. Then I they have Gran Turismo, but that's a month after. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's the thing, and that's what I wanted out of this conference that they didn't do, mm-hmm. is I wanted them to go, these are the launch titles. Yeah. Here's why you want it. Here are all the launch titles. Yeah. Like, that's what I needed, because it is a little confusing messaging, and maybe they just don't know if they're going to be done by then, but it is a little bit confusing, because I don't know what the launch title Like, Adrift is one, and uh, I imagine that Mars game we saw is one. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I could see that. They, they, they didn't tell us. That's yeah. the problem. 
So anyway, then we moved away from VR, though it confused you a little bit, yeah. uh, to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare gameplay, which they did, to be fair, I mean, I knew it wasn't VR because there's no I didn't know it was Call way. of Duty when they started it, because oh, you're in okay. a spaceship. Um, but th- there's no way this is VR. Uh, yeah. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I heard the guy behind us go, well, that was better than I thought it was. Or it would look. Yeah. And I like... I've been saying since they re- released this trailer, this is mm-hmm. the best looking Call of Duty they've released. I think people that think Battlefield 1 looks better than this game are out of their fucking minds. Yeah. This game looks so much better than uh, Battlefield. So, so this confused me a little bit. I thought, it was, I thought it was a VR game. Uh, it looked like Avatar. Like everything I was looking at looked like from the movie Avatar. Um, and he gets in like this plane and goes to sp- space. And I'm like, mm, it's cool. It's just some weird space game in the VR. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. Oh, that's another Eve Valkyrie's launch. Though. But yeah. keep going. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he gets out. And uh, it was like this Call of Duty game. You know, you instantly realize it when you see the gun. Um, and it was awesome. You have like a grappling hook. This looked like the most like well thought processed Call of Duty the game. Yeah, it looked great. It's the yeah. first Call of Duty ever that I'm going to get because of the campaign. Yeah. Like the campaign, oh, the campaign looked, looked sweet. Like, yeah, they, they, the they face, haven't showed the multiplayer the, yet. The, face, um, the space fighting looked awesome. Looked incredible. The dog yeah. fighting. The different like technologies and things they're putting in there look awesome. Very, um, very excited. It looks very different from a lot of shooter games, too, which is... Surprising cool. for yeah. Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, Call of Duty, like, set, set the... Everybody follows them, yeah. Yeah, and now they're setting it again, which is awesome. I agree. I think it's this really looks cool. great. Yeah. And then it comes with the Modern Warfare remaster. Everybody lost their mind during this. Yeah. People way more excited for this, clearly. Mm-hmm. Uh, myself included. But, like, it was literally this remaster is just icing on the cake. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you get both of these if you're a Prime member or whatever. Mm-hmm. You get both of these for, like, 70 bucks. It's, like, yeah. $35 for both those games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and this I'll is like that. a complete remaster, so that like graphically, it looks um, like it they looks didn't cool. show Good. a before and after. Mm-hmm. I watched a before and after comparison. Yeah, holy it shit, it looks incredible. Yeah. They, 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 this isn't like the cheap remasters yeah. that they we did, get. This is very, this looks very way better. And the textures ten, are way better. They added ten multiplayer maps to COD Four. Um, so I cool. think it's just ten of the multiplayer maps from COD Four. It said plus ten. The campaign plus ten. Oh, is that what it said? Campaign. Yeah. Okay. The campaign that's plus. Cool. Also, a side note uh, that's not actually written here. They said the ca- if you play it on PlayStation, you get the campaign thirty days earlier. Oh wow! Fuck that. That's a stupid. I hate when things do that. Yeah, it's whatever. It's kind of weird. I don't like. I don't get that. I don't like giving people a game before other people. That's yeah. not cool. The campaign's whatever. Yeah, um, that's fair. I mean, I'm not going to play the campaign again. I don't yeah. care. But I, I care for people like on Xbox that literally made that game. Yeah. Like Call of Duty 4. Like, that's yeah. kind of shitty. Um, next, probably the biggest announcement they did. Actually, I think the biggest announcement. Um, and I feel like they botched it a little bit. But uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3 getting remastered from the ground up. Yep. For PlayStation 4. Yep. Uh, very similar to Ratchet & Clank, I imagine. When Insomniac came out, they said, we're making Ratchet & Clank 1 again from the ground up. Bye. And then we didn't see it for two yeah. years. And they came back out and went, it comes out in a few months. And, and that was awesome. And incredible. And it, yeah, it's that one of the best games fanta- of this year. Yeah, that game was fantastic. Um, so they came out. They said that. I loved Sean Layton walking with the crash yeah, shadow. Cool. And it, they did a lot of play that like cool. that. The mu- live uh, music. They made played it a the... big deal. And I thought it was going to be a new crash game. Um, I'm actually, I mean, it is. But yeah. Um, I, I mean, I thought it was going to be this brand new like yeah. kind of revival. And it's cool. They're doing three crash games. Remastered, yes. I'm, I would say if you That's tell so me much we're doing a new crash game or yeah. we're going to remaster com- from the ground up one, three. two and three. I want that. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Those games are good. I know they're good. Yeah. Let's do that one. Yeah. Um, That's cool. I th- but I, when I say I bought, they bought shit, I feel like this announcement, they could have ended the show with this announcement, oh, I honestly. Agree. Yeah. Like, they could have said, we have one more thing, yeah. played the music, and then said, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, 3, remastered. Yeah. By everybody. Like, that. you could end the show with that. I yeah. don't think they realize how much people love crash oh it's insane like people, people love like yes yes then they went skylanders gets crash bandicoot and you know what there was no size like people were like whatever you gave me a remaster yeah. of the other crash of sure cool um the trailer didn't offend me at all i no. was like yeah it's fine no. cool uh they did the lego star wars force awakens which was cute uh yeah i think it was one of the worst points of this conference yeah um, i didn't really care about it i um, i I think it was definitely a low point, but I still think it was a good trailer. It was was funny. 
yeah. girlfriend leaned over. She said, I want this game. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I thought it was cool. fine. I think the big, um, uh, obviously, I don't know why they put this in here because people, they're going to sell those games no matter what. Yes. Um, but the beta came out tonight as well. So or the, the demo, yeah, you can yeah. download the live demo. They call um, it a beta, but demo, sure. Um, Kojima came out. Yep. Lost that bet with Conf- Kellen. Confused the shit out of everybody. Uh, didn't, didn't fully confuse me. So yeah, he came out with a Michael Jackson, like Billie Jean, whatever, walking down the, yeah. uh, the aisle, which was cool. Uh, he said, I'm back. Everybody <laughs> lost their mind. This was probably yeah. the loudest the, the, the audience got. got. Sure. Uh, last year when I went, it was definitely the last guardian in final fantasy seven. Mm-hmm. I think Kojima brought the house down this time. Yeah. Um, showed off a not trailer a teaser of his game which i did not think we would get oh that was and crazy the huge reveal norman reedus is back with him yeah they're doing something together this looks wacky this trailer was like crazy this is kojima yeah like he does crazy. wacky it was awesome um no one had any idea what was going on but i think everybody just ate it up and loved it yeah i mean i like the way i saw it i don't think this is anything really uh, remotely symbolizing what the final game is going to be. Yeah. I think he was just kind of doing like a metaphor thing. He's yeah, like, yeah, Norman sure. Reedus is in the game. Everybody loses their mind. This is our baby. You know, like, uh, you know, we yeah. we're finally got this working yeah. and everything. Um, like, we're, we're fixing everything. Uh, also, it's worth noting, there's a fetus in PT that's, like, a big part of big PT, part of it, and sure. they have, like, the fetus. Like, it, I think they were just being cute. Um, I fully expected them to say that Del, uh, Del Toro was going to get on board at the end when the things were coming towards. I thought that was going to be Del Toro. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, wasn't. I'm very excited. So what do we think this, uh, what is this Spartan skeleton spaceman? What's the story? I mean, that's their logo, but he seemed to be like, when I looked at it, he seemed to be like on a moony surface. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't look like the earth. Yes. Which was confusing because there were sea creatures and things. Right. It seemed um, like a moon There was a moon, lot like of stuff surface. going on in this trailer. Yeah, like, I probably need to watch it a couple times. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. People um, are going to pick this out for sure. Um, Death Stranding uh, for the name of it, which surprising we got a name. I did yeah, not think I, we were getting... Yeah, I man. thought he'd be like... I thought it was going to be a teaser of the, just the logo we, again. Um, I thought we were going to get a full shot of him maybe move and like look around like an animated mm-hmm. thing over Kojima talking about how happy he is to be at PlayStation. And yeah. that's it. If we got Kojima at all and yeah. we got we way got more than I did. This is um, awesome. Yeah, it was really awesome. cool. I mean, I'm really excited to see what they do with this game. It's going to um, be insane. Spider-Man game's real. Yep. It's not Sucker Punch. Nope. Insomniac. It's Insomniac. Which is awesome. Uh, makes me happy because I hope Sucker Punch is doing another Infamous now. That, That'd be cool. That, That'd be it's sick. It's great. Yeah. Um, Insomniac, I feel like perfectly capable of doing a Spider-Man oh, yeah. game. They did um, Sunset. They did Ratchet and Clank. I feel like they can they, handle. They Spider-Man. do these great bouncy games, and Spider-Man's this very bouncy, yes. brawly. You know. Yeah, and they're also like game, Sunset so. and everything is so good at comedy. Mm-hmm. Like it's so funny. Yeah, Spider-Man's Guess who else is com- good at comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man for sure. Um. Yeah. I this looked way better than I expected yeah. it to look. I'm shocked. And PS4 exclusive game. Very weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bummed out about that. Very uh, weird. I, I'm so certain I'm getting a PS4 now um, for a bunch of reasons. The big one's God of War. Oh, oh my God. I can't explain how excited. <laughs> I, I've never been this excited for a game. And oh my God, crap my pants. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, yeah, there's, I think it looks great. Uh, they showed the town. They showed him swinging around a little yep. bit. They showed him doing Spider-Man games just in the past. Spider-Man there's, things. There's only been like one bad one. Like they're all okay. He's got um, very Civil War reminiscent suit with the eyes. Yeah, I and don't everything. actually like the suit at all. That was my. He's got the problem. white spider. The white spider is. I like the white me, spider. Man. He's got like this white spider cum stain on his. Yeah, I, li- I, I like it. I think it looks cool. Look, I don't think it looks. I like good. the arms. That, that I like the white going down his arms. Yeah. I think it looks Obviously, cool. you're gonna be able to change your costume in this. That's yeah, one hundred percent. Every Spider-Man doesn't, game. It doesn't matter too much. Um, but. So we'll so we'll see how that works. I'm I'm fully expecting it to uh, be very very good. And yeah, Sony. I, I don't know. Sony owns good, the right to the. Right. Um, the Spider-Man. Every Insomniac game I've played. I thought has been very good. I know mm-hmm. they have like I think they did fuse and like they've done a couple weak ones. Yeah. But I like Resistance Two. I think is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Resistance Three. I think is good. Um, Ratchet and Clank is fantastic. That, that might be their like, best one. Um, um, really Sunset good. Overdrive is fantastic. Like I love that game. Yeah, that was a game I was expecting to love. Um, and I liked it. But yeah, but still, I, I like I think yeah. this game's gonna be very good. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Um, 
Yeah. I don't have any complaints about this game. Yeah, um, I'm just I, shocked I it that it's solid. actually happening. Like it's yeah, actually I'm a PS4 very shocked and exclusive, got it. and um, yeah, I'm shocked. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. That's at all. not what, if you told me pitch pitch three developers to make a Spider Man game, I wouldn't have thought of Insomniac, yep. but it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm glad they're doing it. Yes, I me too. I think they're gonna do the best job with it. So I agree. Um, yeah, so Spider Man game. Then we moved on to what I thought was a little weird. The final thing, which was Days Gone again. Yep, but a, like game a gameplay, a gameplay yep. demo thing. So how did we feel about this? The problem with this one was you and I both weren't keen on it because of the zombies and just the genericness of that whole thing. Yeah. And then um, they showed more. It seemed more like a tech demo than mm-hmm. a like they're like, look how many zombies we can have. Look how pretty our game is. Look at some of our mechanics. OK, thank yeah. you. Like, that's what it seemed like to me. And I thought that when they said they were doing a gameplay demo and it was the last thing, I'm like, oh, it's coming out this year yeah this is coming out in november it doesn't look like it's close to being done and it's not coming no. out in yeah. november uh i guess it's coming out next year but um, i think they would have said early next year they didn't they didn't say anything so i think this game's gonna be a little bit um, yeah and I, I like i said before i don't care like this one didn't just didn't do it for me yeah so things ah, man it was so weird of them knowing when this what game like god of war in this spot personally yeah if i could have seen more god of, i could have watched that game for like an hour just uh, just replay the whole thing yeah that was awesome yeah Um, like i i honestly think if they flubbed anything or whatever at this conference i think the crash announcement should have been stronger mm -hmm. and i think that you move this live gameplay to the opening yeah and then you move the god of war to the end and i feel like you're i could see that pretty solid Um, (laughs) there were a few things like i i think this game looks like trash after watching this like I don't think it looks like trash. I just think it looks like a zombie game that I it don't care It just looks about. very mediocre to end this crazy gun show conference I agree with, with that. Um, which was kind of a bummer. Like I said, a crash announcement would have been fine. Yeah, I agree with that. And they were like, and we're remaking the all Kojima three The Kojima announcement would have that been That would have been fine. insane, too. Yeah, they like stuck all this crazy shit in the middle. Yeah. And it, my, oh, man. I was just like a little boy at Christmas. Yeah. Um, and then I got like some shitty socks at the end. That's what <laughs> that, happened. That does kind of feel how it's like you opened... Uh, your toys on Christmas and you got like something yeah. and then you keep going and then your last gift is like something that goes with the first thing you open yeah. and you're like fuck <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, open exactly <laughs> exactly um, yeah so what do we give this conference overall I thought this was great I think the structure of it was mm-hmm. probably the best I've ever seen with a conference not having interruptions yeah, I, had, I, had I think, with, I think they changed how conferences are going to be done from yeah. now on I think we're going to see another press conference do exactly this um, I loved that they didn't do the camera thing that Microsoft was fucking doing. They did the, a little bit, not as much. Microsoft right, but they was do, they, they weren't focusing this. on people playing it. They focused yeah. on the orchestra a little bit to show yeah. them, which yeah. I understand. That one's fine. They showed the audience reaction too much. Didn't like that. Like yeah. when crashed wa- the crash walkout thing, mm-hmm. they were showing the audience and not the stage. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I hear the music. Show me yeah, the fucking sure. stage. Um, so that. But they also did the thing where during live play gameplay demos, they just put. A they picture on the bottom on the or on yeah. the top or whatever of him playing it, and then they made the the game the rest I of the screen cool. so much better yeah. than cutting back and forth between That's somebody miserable. playing. Yeah. Thank and you. The, yeah, they, so they had this on the side, and then they would go to like a full screen, have it on the side a little bit, and yeah. that, I thought that was so yeah. much better. That's I a agree great that. way to do that. I think as far as structure like that, they nailed it 10 out of 10. Now, as far as the announcements, um, was there anything I lost my mind over? Kind of. Norman Reedus was a that was huge awesome. surprise. Was really Crash cool. coming back was really cool. a huge surprise. Mm-hmm. Me actually interested in Detroit, Resident Evil, and it's out now. Like yep. the demo's out now. Yes, I kind of fucking lost my mind during some of these announcements. Last Guardian's release date. Like mm-hmm. these were things that excited me. Um, so I feel like it's just shy of a 10 because I do have complaints. Yeah. And I would give it a 9 out of 10. I really, really, really enjoyed yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously slightly biased because we are watching it in a theater there's tons of people we're all clapping yeah, it was very it makes it, it was they very went last up. they yeah, made very they up. instantly almost they had a six a, just for had, that so that's fair but they had, they had an orchestra <laughs> <laughs> um so it made like every game we were watching better everything felt very epic in this yeah. it was crazy that's fair um so, so yeah my final one's a nine so i got v- i started this thing like so hyped up for this god of war thing it was a little front-loaded um like oh man like i was like on the edge of my seat watching this god of war um this game looked incredible you know um and then they used to go into these vr games and like the last guardian was cool 
Um, you know, it was just like this thing. It was fin- quick. It was like 30 seconds. Yeah, we seconds. finally <laughs> had this release date, and I was like, oh, God, finally. You know, I wasn't excited about it. I was like, I feel like they should have done this forever ago. Um, I don't feel like this needed to be an E3. People were obviously very excited about it, which was fine. Yeah, that's probably the second biggest pop. Yeah, the that, that was fine. And Resident Evil was probably the second mm-hmm. biggest pop. Um, I was, you know, Resident Evil was whatever for me. People got really excited about that, too. Um, I know, like, this happens all the time with PlayStation. Um, and I, I don't think it's wrong. You know, PlayStation puts out fantastic games. Um, but people have, like, they just love, like, anything PlayStation does. Like, PlayStation doesn't have bad conferences. And they didn't this year. It was fantastic. I don't think they, well... Um, I don't think they've had a PS4 bad conference for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but people just like they're like, "Hey, we're re-releasing this game." And everyone's like, "Ah!" They're nostalgic. Like they just, the, yeah, that's the very thing. Nostalgic. That Microsoft sure. doesn't have nostalgia, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. They tried it last year, and mm-hmm. I think it worked. And it was uh, weird because they did bit, it yeah. with Rare Replay, yeah. which is not their game, yeah. like their Nintendo games. Yeah. But they still did it, and Rare Replay was one of their best-selling things. Like yeah. people care about that nostalgia thing, and like, Very what's more so. PlayStation nostalgic than going Crash Bandicoot's back? Yeah, like yeah, for Jesus, sure. um, there were there were a lot of things, um, but they're I, very I nostalgic. I don't freak out about these like remakes and stuff. I'm excited, um, but people like freak out about this, and they're like, "Oh, this is the best conference ever." Um, I, I thought it was good. Um, the, the structure of the conference, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, there were a couple things, um, especially with Call of Duty. There's so many new mechanics in this game that I almost wish someone would have talked about it a little bit. But it was it was cool the way they did it. It was mm-hmm. cool and hip and refreshing. I think we'll get all that stuff on the show floor. Like, did you like yeah, this game? That's, Go look up the interview. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So this, this draws people into the show floor, which is going to be cool. We're going to mm-hmm. have these um, videos after E3 of the show floor. Yeah. Um, like we excited. always do. It, they're just going to be more exciting. So I'm, I'm yeah. excited for that. Right now, you know, I'm, I'm a little like, you know, how does this new Call of Duty game work? You know what the fuck's going on in God of War? What the fuck's going on in this Kojima game? Like, <laughs> yeah, we're not there's getting that There's just so <laughs> many things that we're, we're, we don't know. Um, so this left me very puzzled mm-hmm. with certain games. Um, I didn't like the Lego Star Wars. I didn't like the Skylanders thing, but they were fine. The Skylanders thing was fine. I think um, if you I, remove anything, it's I like hated the, Star Wars. the way they ended it. Um, they ended I it with the game that. I was least excited for. That was literally my least ex- and the it was game. Kind of like a I would have rather seen a Lego Star Wars demo yeah, played. Yeah. Than they were they were like Days trying Gone. to show the game off, but it just was a joke. I was laughing at it sometimes. Like it doesn't look bad, but like the way they did it was just kind of. Yeah, see, I like I understood they were just showing off. Like, yeah, I got look that. how many things can be on yeah, screen. I, it's like cool. I, I got that too, but it's like very untasteful. Like he was like you know setting these traps and stuff, and I was like, okay, this is cool. I'm bored. Yeah, um, I mean, and then like zombies are like just running through. Just, He's like running through zombies, and I'm yeah, like, this is just yeah. They, I mean, they turned off the. They made it so we couldn't die. Clearly, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, he had infinite bullets. So stuff. wasn't a fan of that. I give this like a nine out of ten. I think it was good. Maybe oh, an eight and a half, nine out of ten. Yeah. Um, something else that I do want to note that I think is interesting. Yeah. No indies mm-hmm. at yeah. all. Yeah, they very- Sony's always been the indie yeah. indie station xbox that, was very much right that's the thing yeah. everybody excuse me everybody's always like indie station that's like the dig at sony and i'm like oh yeah. you mean those awesome games that are like nine out of tens and ten out of tens yeah. everywhere um but they are always like yeah indie station indie station indie station all you get is indies they didn't show any no this is very much indie games which is incredible yeah like not in a good way or a bad way just like shocking because this, they've so been about that and i yeah. feel like they've realized indie games are for like paris games week and these smaller things and that's yeah. where you do the more niche like japanese games and yeah. stuff like that and then psx and e3 which are exactly six months apart yeah is your big heavy this hitters also i think they figured it out this also seemed like i mean e3 is obviously supposed to get your sales up that's what they're doing they're pitching all this shit to you they want to um, sell playstations it very much felt like i was getting pitched all this stuff to buy it um yes so that that was a little Somebody, bit of a problem oh i gotta say my favorite part yeah kojima walks out yeah <laughs> this is great he says, I have something to show you. And somebody in the yeah, back yeah. yells, I'm already pre-ordering. I'm yeah. already pre-ordering yeah. it or whatever. I, that was great. That was like, funny. Um, but this very much felt like <laughs> all this shit was just getting like shoved down my throat to buy. Yes. Um, they like showed off that they're like, here's our VR. And we're coming out with all these games yeah. that you're not going to be able to experience. Um, so I agree with that. I don't mind another it. Problem. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. I'm um, probably like, of, it felt like let's they say did they it announced up. like 10 things. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I can tell you right now, I'll, I'm getting God of War. I'm yeah. not getting Days Gone. I'm getting The Last Guardian. I'm getting Horizon. I'm getting Detroit. I'm getting Resident Evil. 
uh, I'm getting Batman VR. Yeah. I'm getting the Crash Bandicoot games. I'm getting Call of Duty. I'm getting Kojima's game. I'm <laughs> getting the Spider-Man game. Yeah. I'm not getting the Lego game. Uh, and then they ended on Days Gone Again. Like. And then the, you're getting the wh- Bandicoot games. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like what? 12 things and I'm getting nine of them. Yeah. Um, but the, good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Like they're very, they, it was like they were trying to like sell these things to me, but it was things we were all going to get it. Um, so I wish they would have like maybe not thrown these like things in my face so much and like kind of like cut three of these things out and focus a little bit more on them. Yeah. Um, I definitely wanted to, to see more God of War. So like I wanted another to see more Resident Evil. They sh- I think they only showed three gameplay videos. Like they did Horizon, they did Days Gone, they did God of War. Yeah. And they did Resident Evil, I mm-hmm. guess, were all gameplay. Um and so Call like of Duty cut as well. Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's, I guess there was that's actually of, like the longest one, I think. Th- besides the Days Gone. Horizon felt like the longest to me, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I, I I don't actually know which was the longest. But anyway, um yeah, like cut out one or two things and put in another uh gameplay thing. That would have been fine. Mm-hmm. Um something else that we didn't talk about that I feel like we should bring up, the PlayStation Neo. Andrew House said it's not gonna be on the stage. He wasn't lying, clearly. Yeah. Uh F you Kellen, you got that one wrong. Yeah. Uh yeah, so he said it's not they're not going to show it. Uh, what do we think about that? Was it a smart move? What, like, how do we feel oh, about the I think the it's Neo? a smart move because I think this is where Xbox would have had their opportunity to shine over PlayStation. Yeah, and PlayStation just said fuck yeah, you and backed um, out. I think, yeah. I think Project Scorpio is like Microsoft's really excited about it because they have this great... Um, I think they're tired of being called the weaker console. Yeah, they, they yeah. made this incredible system. Um, they're pairing it with Windows 10. They're making the system very much like this PC console crossover thing for mm-hmm. people. Um, and they're going to create this new experience for people um, in a next generation of console gaming. And PlayStation is doing that with the VR um, very much so. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the fight here is the VR versus the Scorpio. Um, and PlayStation is like, well, we can compete with them with the 4K too and just wipe them out. So. Yeah. Like, I feel like they had the Neo and yeah. it it's supposed to, the rumor is it does 4K and everything. Yeah. Apparently yeah. the Scorpio is better. Yeah. And I don't know if they backed out because of that. If they did, I think they made a smart move, honestly. Agree, yeah. But Microsoft has always been compared to PlayStation stuff because, not because they're weaker than PlayStation, mm-hmm. which they are spec-wise, but their games run less than PlayStation, they which do, is a yeah. problem. Mirror's Edge is 720, where on PlayStation it's higher. Yeah. You know, uh, I think The Witcher is higher on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Like, multiple games just... Dark Souls. Yeah, this like, is, multiple games are literally running better on mm-hmm. PlayStation. It's not like the 360 PS3 where, like, they were, they were the, the same, same console, yeah basically. they were the same yeah. and i feel like that made them look bad and they made the scorpio which i think is way more powerful than what playstation was cooking up yeah. and they were like well we're gonna back out see how they do this mm-hmm. and, and everything mm-hmm. and i i think that was a smart move because like i said i think the worst announcement of the xbox conference was that scorpio and i really do feel that way yeah i feel, w- i was excited for a slim and yeah. i'm not buying one now mm-hmm. like unless i can somehow I, get some sort of equalish trade for I'm like semi excited for the Scorpio. Um, I think I think it'll be an insane console. I'm excited to do yeah. what they did. That we don't have a lot of details, so that's the big thing. That was the big thing for me. If they're gonna announce a new console, give me some fucking details about yeah. it. You know, they're just like this is gonna be fucking mind blowing. We'll see you again in a year. Yeah, so, maybe holiday 2017. That's what yeah. we got out. Of I mean, it. we'll see it at E3, and I think it'll get revealed. Um, but it'll be next year. So yeah, that's I agree. I. I I think it was smart to not show it. You don't, mm-hmm. especially after seeing what type of show they did where yeah. they didn't talk about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Just showing off a new console like that would have been a fucking mess. Yeah, I agree. And it also something that I brought up on the car ride back was then you wonder like at the end of the show, if you're like, here's the Neo, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then you w- constantly wonder, well, are, were those games running on yeah. the Neo? Were they running on the one that I have? Are they yeah. going to look like trash on the one that I have? Like, it's just the transparency of, nope, it, pretend it doesn't exist because as far as you know, it doesn't exist. Like, yeah. ignore it for now. I think that that was a smart move. Um, I, I agree. I, I think so. it's great that they didn't put that in there. They've yeah. very, very heavily focused on this VR um, yeah, which I think is great. Yeah, they're, I think they're very reliant on it, but obviously it's going to do well. We already know that. Yeah, um, they're, they're very happy with so, their numbers, yeah. for sure. 
Um, very excited for VR. Can't wait to try that out. Man, so. I'm like very mixed on it. I hope it does well. Yeah, All well, these, you can try it out when I yeah. get it. Like I've used Oculus and I l- fell in love with it. Yeah, and I've I, uh, I did the HTC one. Was it the Vibe? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and it was cool, but I did it. It was like a lake. I was like walking around in a lake. Um, and everything was really cool, but I was like, this could get boring. And then I realized there's games. Um, so this was like, <laughs> yeah, like this, this could get like, boring, except I can watch like a year sports ago. Yeah. and mm-hmm. like movies and games and all that. It's also really weird. You know, I spent 30 minutes in there and I took it off and it weirded me out afterwards. So. Yeah, that's actually a problem people have. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like an actual thing mm-hmm. where if you play too much VR, when you take off your headset, yeah. the world like walking around the real world feels mm-hmm. fake to you, which might oh, be I didn't, a I huge didn't do that, problem. But I, I felt really nervous. That's what I remember. I felt uh, no, I, no, I mean, like, this is, like, when people play, like, hours and hours of VR and yeah. they're, like, hopping games and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like, apparently, when you take your headset off, you still feel like you're in that fake world. Uh, that's which crazy. makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of um, weird, though. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, so what was your favorite announcements from the PlayStation conference? Mine, probably Crash Bandicoot. God of War, although this is my favorite <laughs> E3 announcement was God of War, and it might be my favorite E3 announcement ever. So uh, so let us know yours in the comments down below. Thank you for being here, Todd. As always. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.